Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm with Nick. Uh, president of Cable Camp and SkyCam, and Nick, you've got some really cool gear, and I think a lot of people don't know exactly how it works. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, sure, no problem. Uh, SkyCam and Cable Cam, just for a little history on these businesses. Uh, if, if you go back to 2001 with the XFL, when the WWE uh, had started their football league, um, is is really the early days of SkyCam, where they had started putting a camera behind the quarterback on the XFL. Um, since that time, uh, ESPN started picking up uh, SkyCam on Sunday night and Monday night football for 2002 and 2003. And then in 2004, uh, ESPN used it pretty regularly and Fox used for SkyCam and Fox used CableCam regularly. Um, and, and so our company got involved uh, just as investors in 2006 and we've been uh, building and growing these businesses ever since. So now we have SkyCam and CableCam, they, they're operated separately, but we share technology, share ideas, and you know, every time you watch a football game or, or a soccer match or a baseball game or uh, you know, a basketball game and see a camera over the, over the field or over the court, you're likely seeing one of our cameras. So this is our pilot station. This is where um, we have somebody sits during a football game and is joysticking the camera around. So moving that camera you know, in three-dimensional space, you know, anywhere that that, that uh, the action's taking place. Um, the pilot will typically sit next to a camera operator who has a different set of, set of monitors who's controlling pan, tilt, and zoom on the camera. So we've got a team of two people who are working together to, to move the camera around and, and get the shots as uh, coordinated with the director of the broadcast. In terms of how it works, I can uh, take you over here and show you a reel. So this right here is uh, one of our cable cam reels. Um, the computer that you saw at the pilot station, um, that computer sends controls back to drives which control the, the, the motors of these winches. And so for our cable cam systems, we have three winches. Each winch controls X, Y, Z, and axis for the system that moves the camera around the field. For SkyCam, it's a little bit different. The central computer has four winches, and they all move in tandem to move the camera about the field. So as a viewer, you probably don't know the difference between SkyCam and cable cam, but the technologies are a little bit different. And uh, some of the cable cam system uh, some of the enhancements of the cable cam system are, are it's a little bit more versatile. We can fly heavier camera systems, keep higher tensions, and for, especially for the uh, European soccer or the World Cup, if we need to keep a minimum height to make sure a soccer ball doesn't hit the camera system, we may be at 20 meters and the cable cam systems have the ability to carry higher tension with the way that the, the, the system is set up. So that's why we see a place for both technologies and it really just depends on what event we're doing, what the venue is, and what equipment we have available and, and how we go and, and select you know, which equipment and what we're doing. But as the viewer, you're typically not gonna see it, that much of a difference between the two systems. Okay, well this, this right here is our operator station. Uh, we talked about the, pla the platform pilot station um, before. This is just directly adjacent to the operator station. And this is you know, fairly standard in terms of just controlling a camera system, pan, tilt, and zoom on the camera. And they just work closely with the platform pilot uh, to, to put all the great shots on television. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.